Jeffrey, 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 you got some explaining to do. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, all the drama that's going on and take this mess and turn it into a message. And today's message is don't be a hypocrite and throw stones in glass houses. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So for all of you loyal Rewired Soldiers out there who have been subscribed to me, you've been watching the videos I'm making, like, a question you might have is, why am I being so hard on Jeffree Star, all right? And I'm gonna circle back a little bit later in this video after we talk about these new tweets that just resurfaced um, and kind of explain this a little bit further. But here's the thing, this actually came up on Twitter the other day. And the issue that I'm having is Jeffree Star constantly taking this moral high ground. But it all started with this James Charles situation where he posted a tweet and deleted it, which blows my mind. Like, for somebody with millions of followers, like, there's no such thing as a deleted tweet, all right? Like, if Jeffrey wants to not post things that he shouldn't post, dude needs to start practicing mindfulness and, and take a pause button, right? I've been practicing mindfulness for a while now, and it's still difficult for me, but just know, if you get to that massive following, there's no such thing as a deleted tweet. But in a tweet that he deleted, he, he talked about James Charles being a predator and saying that his boyfriend, Nate, banned James Charles from the house, okay? That's where I take issue. Because I was having a conversation with somebody on Twitter about this and this moral high ground, and they brought up the fact that I have uh, a, a, a troubled past, right? And that's true. I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. I'll be having uh, celebrating seven years sober next month on June 23rd, right? And I'll often talk about situations in the YouTube community and things like that. And the difference is, the difference is, and I hope this is the message I'm conveying to people, is not taking this high ground, but a place of empathy, right? Like I'll call out behaviors. I'll call out behaviors all day long and talk about what I've learned, why this is wrong, the influence that it's uh, having on all of the people watching these situations go down and everything like that, but, I, I never forget where I came from. And that's what it seems like Jeffree Star is doing. And he's erasing thousands of tweets to try to erase his own history. That's where I take issue, all right? So what, what happened was um, basically some new tweets resurfaced. I'll put them up on the screen right here as well. I may go over some of them, but I'll link the Twitter thread down below. But basically, here's what just resurfaced. Now, before I get into this, like, especially with the false allegations in the Photoshop tweets uh, or DMs from uh, people were making about James Charles, I wanted to make sure. So, Jeffree Star, as we all know, he's deleted thousands of tweets. So, from this thread, I actually just did some research. And here's the thing. No matter how many tweets that you delete, the replies are still gonna be there. So what I did do was I went through this thread and I verified the replies existed. And based on the context of the replies, you can see what happened and what transpired, okay? So even though Jeffree Star tried to delete this, they're still there because the replies are there. All right, so I'm going to read um, the gist of this story. So this comes from Twitter user Sawsfoot. So it starts out with, was Jeffree Star involved in grooming an underage boy? A thread. So dozens of tweets from 2012 have emerged between Jeffree Star and Jamie Ryan D, a former teen model once known for their large Tumblr following. Jamie has since transitioned and I believe now uses they, them pronouns. According to their famous birthdays page, Jamie was born January 21st, 1995. About a month after they turned 17, Jeffree, who was 27 at the time, began tweeting them regularly. On February 19th, 2012, Jeffrey tweeted, I have a crush with an accent. A week later, he tweeted, um, Jamie Ryan D has the cutest accent. And Jamie Ryan D, well, I do like your accent, leading one to assume Jamie may have been his aforementioned crush. So it goes on and there's some tweets that I have up on the screen here. And then it says, Jamie has since deactivated their Twitter account, which makes it tricky to establish context, but fans tweeted their reactions to the 17 and 27 year olds exchange. And it goes on to say, Jeffrey's friend, Johnny Boy XO, a popular trans YouTuber back then, made several attempts to groom Jamie, showering them in praise and tweeting 
I'm starting a countdown till you turn 18. While Jamie was 16, according to her Model Mayhem profile, Johnny Boy XO was 26 at the time. So when Johnny Boy XO tweeted Jamie Ryan D, I'm gonna come to London when you're 18 and we're gonna do illegal things, Jeffrey responded, am I invited? To which Johnny Boy XO told him to bring his rhinestone dildo. So from one of their last exchanges after Jamie turned 18, one can piece together some context through fans quoting and retweeting. And these are the ones that I looked up and verified. So it says, there are dozens more tweets suggesting the two regularly Skyped and FaceTimed. Please spread this. The story ought to be told and examined as one of predation. With that said, please also respect Jamie's privacy. So yeah, in those tweets, in those tweets, Jeffree Star, who was 27 at the time, was talking to Jamie Ryan Lee, who was 17 at the time, okay? So this is where my issue comes in. Now, obviously, that's wrong, okay? Now, something that Jeffree Star told Keemstar, which was talked about on one of the recent episodes of Drama, Drama Alert, was when asked about his tweets that resurfaced, Jeffree Star said he was just joking. All right, so is that okay? Is that okay to do? Like, one of the problems is, is that, again, Jeffree Star keeps taking this moral high ground. And I, I legitimately felt sorry for Jeffree Star last year when the whole Dramageddon happened, because all of the stuff, for those of you who don't know uh, or don't remember, what kicked off everything with Manny MUA and Laura Lee and Gabriel Zamora and Nikita Dragon was they were pretty much bullying Jeffree Star, okay? And it's, it's really easy for a lot of people to play victim, like, oh my God, I didn't do anything. Like, like we all know, like, Jeffree Star talks trash, and I don't care. I really don't care that Jeffree Star is who Jeffree Star is, but, but he was just flourishing in the fact that Laura Lee and Manny MUA just started losing hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and we're getting all this stuff, and he was talking about karma and everything like that, and just relishing in it. The, the phrase that we talked about the other day was schadenfreude, all right? Taking pleasure in somebody else's pain, okay? But the problem is, is that Jeffree Star keeps acting like he's better than everybody and doesn't have a troubled past. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people, a lot of people um, who are fans of Jeffree Star are going to say this. They're gonna say this, but Jeffree Star has grown and he's changed. Yes, I absolutely agree. But Jeffree Star is a man in his 30s now and he's calling out a 19 year old kid. Like he hasn't even given James Charles the opportunity to learn and grow. He is publicly, publicly putting on blast James Charles, a 19 year old kid. And that's where empathy comes in. Like, that's why I'm against cancel culture. Nobody should be judged by the worst moments in their life, all right? I don't believe Jeffree Star should be either. I don't think Jeffree Star should be canceled. What I'm, what I'm here to talk about is the hypocrisy and the lack of empathy and forgetting where you came from and then trying to cover it up by deleting a bunch of tweets. And here's the thing. And like, I think the other reason it bothers me so much is Jeffree Star was a mentor to James Charles. Like, I have a 10 year old son, okay? A mentor is kind of like a, a parent that you never had or a parent in the industry or the niche that you're trying to um, grow in, right? But like my 10 year old son, what helps me monitor like my temper and react when my kid screws up, which he inevitably does, right? is whenever I'm about to blow up on him, I pause real quick and I'm like, okay, what was I doing? What was my mindset when I was his age, right? And it helps me calm down. That doesn't mean I don't call him out on his behaviors, but I don't freak out, right? And this is an ongoing pattern with Jeffree Star where he's not thinking about where he came from. Jeffree Star is not thinking about the countless, countless times that people have forgiven him that people have co-signed his BS. He has forgotten how many people have stood by his side and given him a second chance. Hell, Shane Dawson did an entire docu-series with Jeffree Star to let Jeffree Star talk about his troubled past and what he was going through and everything like that. Like Jeffree Star was given that platform, so to see him do this as James Charles is absolutely ridiculous. And it's just, I, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this 
because they're afraid of Jeffree Star and or his fans, which is one of the reasons why Tati Westbrook was originally afraid to speak up about James Charles. So with that being said, it's something that I will keep touching on is there is such a double standard. There is such a double standard in this situation about who Jeffree Star is allowed to be, the, the standard people are holding James Charles to. Again, James Charles screwed up, right? But like, it, it blows my mind watching a community just tear down James Charles, but then talk about Jeffree and say, oh, well, Jeffree Star has grown and learned from them. Well, like, are you even gonna give this kid a chance? Are you going to give him a chance? Like James Charles has been radio silent for the most part since his apology video, okay? Like, and people aren't even sticking around to see if he grows, if he changes, if he learns from this thing. Like, I, I work with drug addicts and alcoholics and I tell them all the time, do not get your expectations too high for people to forgive you. It's going to take time. You're gonna have to prove them with your actions rather than words, all right? But on the other hand too, when I talk to the parents, I'm like, listen, they're not gonna change overnight. You need to give them a minute, like give them one minute to even attempt to change. But I can't help but empathize with James Charles because he's gotta feel so alone right now because of all the people who have turned their back on him, but everybody is sitting over here like Jeffree Star is this amazing Mother Teresa of the beauty community. And it just, it doesn't make sense to me. So if you're watching this, if you stuck around this this long, like please take a look at mob mentality, cancel culture, why we're giving other people, what some people second chances, other people not, especially when you look at the gra like the, the gravity of the situation and like what James Charles actually did and what he's being accused of. You know, like I just talked about this in my Logan Paul video. If Logan Paul, a guy who filmed a dead body can get redemption and still have his career, like, can we give James Charles another chance, okay? But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this subject down below in the comments below. Um, but that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get access to our monthly Q&A, your name in the credits, some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.